Hi loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Lisa. Definitely make sure you subscribe. So I am doing a jeans collection video today. I did one definitely over a year ago. I think I did two actually. And at the time they like completely blew up. Everyone loved them. And I realized that I haven't done one in such a long time and my collection has fully changed. Like I have a bunch of other jeans now. I do think some of them I still own which is good because it shows that I still love them. But I also have a lot of new additions to my collection and I thought it'd be fun to share because finding jeans that fit is really, really hard. And I have to say most of my jeans are tailored because they just never fit me perfectly. I thought it'd be fun to just try everything on and then show you in the mirror and like talk through every one of them. I think that'll be easier than just like doing a try on on the side. Um, that way I can kind of show you how I move in them. And I also think I have quite a variety of different brands, both more high-end and ex high-end, is that <laughs> like high street, I guess? More expensive and then more like affordable options. And just to give you a little background on my sizing, I think I said this in my last video as well, but then people still ended up asking in the comments, so listen carefully. Okay, I'm 160 centimeters tall. My waist size is around like 24 inch. Um, usually when I buy jeans, I buy like 24, 25. It kind of depends on the fit of the jeans because if it's more tight fitting, then I like to size up because my waist size is just a lot smaller than the rest of my body and like my legs and my thighs and stuff. If it's like regular sizing, then it would be extra small. European 34, UK 6. I think that's US 0 if I'm not mistaken. I feel like I've gotten better at like sizing like all around the world because I deal with clothes every day. So keep it in mind, I don't wanna see any comments asking me what size I wear or how tall I am because I will not answer them because I said it. And before I get into the video, I just wanna thank you guys so, so, so much for 500K. This is the first video I'm putting up. Actually, I'm putting this up today. I'm filming this today and I hit 500K today. I think it was like midnight something. Thank you guys so much. I am so, so grateful and so thankful for you guys. Um, I don't want to make this too long. If you don't care, then you can just skip through until I start the video. But I just want to take a second to thank you guys. You know, I never, when I started YouTube, I never thought I could actually make this my full-time job and career. And there's been so many amazing opportunities that I've had because of this and also so many amazing more things to come that I can't wait to share with you guys. And yeah, I'm just so happy and I'm so grateful and it doesn't feel real to me that 500 thousand people subscribed to me even though you know half of them probably aren't even active on my channel anymore but they clicked on subscribe so you know it counts it makes me feel so happy i mean let's try to hit 1 million i don't know it might take me a few years but you know i really really want to do a giveaway for 500k but i do want to like this is the reason why i haven't done giveaways really um someone asked me this as well on instagram and it's because i don't want to do a giveaway and attract like fake followers and people that are just there for the giveaway and that don't actually watch me so if you've been watching me for a while please let me know down below what you would think would be fun to do as a giveaway like what i should give away i really i just i'm not really sure what to give away and i'm not sure how i want to do it yet just to make sure that i'm actually gonna give it away to an actual follower but just let me know down below if you have any ideas um and i'll you know look at them and figure something out let's just go ahead and get into the video and i hope you enjoy the first pair i'm starting out with are these i'm actually wearing these today so these are flare jeans from Zara. They were a bit big around the waist. My mom put an elastic in there. That's kind of how she's been tailoring my jeans recently. Um, it's easier because it allows me to make them smaller and bigger. Not sure what the exact technique is. Um, my mom also does not want to be on camera, so I don't think I'll ever have her like explain it to you guys. I'm sure you can look it up. Maybe I can find a video on it. I don't know. Yeah, these are from Zara. Really cute. Just like a fun piece for fall. I got this like two months ago, I think. Haven't really worn them much yet, but I definitely see myself wearing this for fall. Very comfortable. Flare. They're long, which I also like. And they have a rough like seam thingy i don't know what that's called but you can cut them shorter if you want this next pair is from monkey it's kind of like a dark gray acid wash type of jean and these are definitely more of like a slim straight leg type of fit my mom again tailored these at the waist i love monkey for more like um i guess affordable jeans like i feel like their pricing is really good it's not the cheapest but they have really good quality 
and yeah i just think their jeans are great they have a really big selection also a bit longer which i like i don't really like short jeans anymore i pretty much want all my jeans to kind of hit my shoe and this is like the perfect length so i haven't been wearing jeans much during summer but i definitely am going to be wearing jeans more for fall winter so obviously stay tuned to see how i style most of these um you can also follow me on my instagram to see that but this is the second pair this next pair is from garage clothing um i'm not sure if they still sell these i got them i think it was during christmas last year um, and i think it was some kind of like boyfriend fit i really like these because they're a bit like lower on the waist um i don't i'm not wearing the right underwear for these right now but they're a bit lower on the waist my mom again took in the waist because they were too big at first um but i really like these because they're like just comfortable you know not too tight i don't love super tight jeans um and they just sit a bit lower at the waist which i just think has a really nice look and i really love low waist jeans at the moment so yeah and it has rips in them too which i like just for like a bit of a change i'm gonna see if i can find a link to these but i can't promise you because i don't know if they still sell them this next pair is again from Monkey. Um, this one's a bit more high-waisted, definitely a darker wash. Um, again, my mom took this in at the waist and these are nice and long, um, super comfortable. I love that they're not too tight around my legs. Like right now, like this is like the most perfect fit, I feel like, outside of low-waist jeans. Like if I'm looking for a high-waist pair of jeans, this is kind of the fit I'm looking for. I think these are going to be so fun to style for fall winter. Yeah, these are just some basic black jeans. If you're looking for like, they're not fully, fully black. Like they still have some like lighter, I don't know if you can tell, some like lighter acid wash details. But these are definitely more black than the first pair from Monkey that I showed. Um, and then I think I have one more pair of jeans that's like fully black, but they're like a completely different fit. So if you're looking for like a good high-waisted pair of black jeans, I would suggest these. Um, and monkey jeans are not that expensive like I said and they also have discount codes and sales and stuff all the time so just keep an eye out for that so these jeans are definitely like very baggy wide fit I do still have to get these tailored because the waist as you can tell is like way too big um, they are still high waisted though although I like kind of bringing them a bit lower because I just think it looks better like Wearing it like this is just too much for me, like it completely, <laughs> like it makes me look shorter, it takes away from my shape. So I like to kind of bring these down to just more like a low waist fit. Um, but yeah, they're just like really baggy. I think these are from Weekday. Weekday is also one of my favorite brands to get jeans from. Um, a little bit pricier than Monkey, I would say, but very, very good quality. A very large range of different kinds of jeans there's a lot you can choose from sizing is also pretty wide i'd say monkey and we have similar sizing but yeah these are just a lot more baggy and stuff i just have to get them tailored because it's too big but i haven't been wearing these so i just haven't gotten around to it yet i think i'm filming this now because it reminded me that i need to give these to my mom <laughs> this is the exact same pair as the black ones but in a blue wash although i do feel like this one fits me nicer like even having it more high waist like i just I don't know why but these just look better on me um and they're also not as long but i'm pretty sure these are like the exact same type of jeans if i'm not mistaken maybe i am they're from weekday though nice and baggy and stuff like that um waist is still kind of big but i don't think i'm gonna actually tailor these because they just like fall onto my hips pretty nicely again not too high-waisted which i like and this is just a beautiful wash like this is a perfect fall winter wash of denim I don't know. I have so many to go through, guys. I'm sorry if these descriptions aren't going to be great. Just look at them and see if you like them. <laughs> so this is one of my more fun jeans, I guess. These are from Beginning Boutique. They're like a acid bleach type. I think this is bleach, probably. Um, I think these are really fun just because they're different and I don't have anything like them. I don't wear these very often, but I feel like... I can never get rid of them because I just think they're so cool and they add something different. Like if I'm wearing a super basic outfit and I want to spice it up a bit, these are like perfect for that. Nice and baggy. I think I got these in, um, it might have been Australian sizing, but I'm pretty sure it was just an extra small like 
everywhere, like extra small in any type of sizing, basically. And my mom tailored these for me at the time, so they don't have an elastic, but they are tailored at the waist, just so you know. Yeah, and they're nice and long again, which, like I said, is my fave. Okay, I'm not exactly sure where these are from, but they're kind of like a yellow, um, orangey. Actually, they're from Reclaim Vintage. I just remembered they're from Reclaim Vintage on ASOS. So they're nice and high-waisted. I have another pair of jeans in a similar color, but it's actually hanging to dry right now. So I'm missing one pair of jeans in this video, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I just really like this color. I haven't worn it much, but I'm excited to wear this again for fall winter. Nice, long, high-waisted. Fit is nice. Um, they're not stretchy, but they aren't like the super stiff denim. So that's nice. Um, yeah, got these in a 34. So these are really, really fun. I feel like you guys probably all know where these are from. They're from Jaded London. So like these were one of their jeans that were like super popular. I don't know if they still sell it, but if they do, I'm sure it's still very popular. Um, I love the color. I love the fit. It's like a low waist. I don't think my mom, did my mom tailor these? Oh yeah, she did. My mom tailored these as well. <laughs> Just cause my sizing is so weird, but cute baggy comfortable long love the texture on them i think that's what really sells these like so cool and thumbs up love <laughs> so these are the only like full on white jeans that i own these are from weekday wearing white jeans is very scary to me which is why i never really wear these i do think i'll be styling these more for fall winter I just haven't worn most of my jeans because it's been summer obviously i think i said that earlier but these are great. They're nice and high-waisted. Um, they're nice and long as well. These are from weekday. With weekday, 9 times out of 10, you can choose your um, length as well, which is nice. I always like choosing a longer length because I want my jeans to be nice and long. I'm sure you can get these shorter as well. I think I just picked like the longest size for these. Cute. I don't think they're too see-through. But just be careful with what you wear underneath, obviously. Yeah, weekday is great. I don't know what to say anymore. So the next two jeans I'm showing you guys are actually my current most worn and like favorites. And they're unfortunately also the most expensive. Um, so these are from Revolve. I got these gifted a couple months ago and I did have my mom tailor the waist because again, they were just a little too big, but these are just like a low waist baggy boyfriend kind of fit. And I love them so much. I would definitely say they're worth the money. Even though they are really expensive, I don't want to obviously force you guys into buying something like really expensive. But this one is so good. If you're into this fit, like I would definitely recommend getting them. Like I wear these all the time. I've washed them so many times and they still look really good. Same goes for the next pair I'm going to show you. But just keep in mind, they are quite expensive. They're just so amazing. I just really love low-waisted jeans and I think it's really hard to find low waisted jeans that are really really nice but these are a dream so good so this is the other pair from revolve this one has slits on the knees and again i just really love these i also really really love the fabric because it's not necessarily stretchy but it's just a very soft fabric and i prefer that with jeans i just think they're more comfortable and obviously these are like very slouchy they're lit little bit wrinkled sorry about that they're just so amazing again these are expensive too but i would recommend them so if you want to splurge on jeans get these if you want an easier holes if you don't want that get the other pair these are so amazing again one of my most worn currently and current favorite so yeah i finished half of my drawer now so i'm gonna go grab the other stuff and we'll finish this off i'm getting kind of over it this next pair i'm pretty positive i showed in my last video or the one before so these are the weekday skew jeans i have this also in a lighter wash which you will see later um these are just their asymmetrical waist last year this was such a big trend i still really like them i just don't think it's as special anymore because i've worn them so many times and asymmetrical waist jeans don't like it's not that special anymore but these are really really great i'm pretty sure they still sell these um maybe in a different wash now i'm not sure but these are really fun and i think the fit of them is really nice like they're like a straight leg i guess um high waist 
asymmetrical waist, comfortable. Love these. I don't think I've ever tailored these. No, I haven't. They're kind of big on the waist, especially if I've worn them for a full day. But I also kind of like wearing them down a bit more, like pulling them down a bit. I think it just gives a very like relaxed fit. And I don't think jeans always have to fit like super tight and stuff. But I feel like these are like one of the most more wearable type of jeans. If you're not into low waist or baggy, I would suggest maybe checking these out. These are one of my more recent jeans. These are from Monkey. I love these so much. I don't think I have anything in this wash. And it really gives me that like kind of 90s dark wash i don't know i feel like my parents would be wearing jeans like this same like fit and everything i think it's so nice my mom again took in the waist we put an elastic in there just so it fits a bit more snug and i also personally just think having an elastic in the waist makes jeans more comfortable period um they're never going to be too tight you're always going to be able to kind of stretch them out but they'll still like just like fit if that makes sense it's time to sweat i'm starting to sweat I have many more to go. These jeans are also very new. I got them from IMG. They're the only skinny jeans that I own and they're flared and you can t like tighten this. It can be higher if you want to like that, if that makes sense. Like you can wear them like this, but I just, I really like just like tightening them. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I don't think so. I just like tightening them and having them like really low. But I do find these strings weird. Like what do you do with these? I usually just kind of tuck them in and like put them like in between my underwear band so that they don't move. But I feel like those ties are like really weird. But these jeans are so beautiful. I love the fit of them. It makes me feel really confident and I just think it looks really flattering on my body. This is actually a really cute outfit. I prefer this over the green pants, actually. Might wear these today. Fabric is very stretchy, which I like. So I would say stick to your true size or you can even size down because they are really, really stretchy. Like I could have done a size smaller if I wanted to because at the waist is still a little bit loose, but I don't mind it. Like this is like pretty much perfect. So took a quick break to have lunch, but we're back with these jeans from weekday. These are, I would say they're quite a similar fit to the Revolve ones. They're just not the same fabric. Like, they're not as soft. Um, and I could probably also get this waist taken in, but I don't really want to. Like, I don't really care for it. They're very baggy, low waist, kind of boyfriend type fit jeans. So if those Revolve ones are too expensive for you, maybe you could try these. The fabric is just very different, so I feel like they fit differently. But... They are still very nice. It's just, I don't know. It's just not the same, but still very nice. <laughs> I don't know if that helps at all, but these are, I feel like these are probably the lightest blue pair of jeans. Is that a sentence that I own? This is another pair from Garage. Um, I'm pretty sure they're the exact same as the black ones I showed you. They're just a different wash. Um, again, I like that they're lower on the waist and they're not super tight and they're a bit longer. I'm not sure if they still sell these, like I said, about the black ones, but I'm going to try to find a link. Um, I got questions about these like a lot whenever I post them on Instagram, so I'm sure you guys would love them. Um, waist is taken in again with an elastic. It's really just like the most perfect way to take in jeans, in my opinion, um, especially if you have like a very small waist because it allows... You just still put your jeans on over your ass. Cause like if my mom would just sew this like as small as it is now, I would not get these over my ass. So so this pair is from Monkey. I really, really like these because they kind of start a bit more fitted and like tight and then they are wide at the bottom. I feel like these are more of like, I wouldn't say flared cause they're not flared, but they're more of a white leg that stars at the knees, if that makes sense. So. If you want to kind of keep this more tight, keep your shape more, these types of jeans would be good for you. Um, again, they're nice and long and love the wash of these as well. It's just really pretty. Two more and then we are done. Finally, because I'm over it at this point. So these are the weekday skew jeans in a lighter wash. Same as the other one, the asymmetrical waist. Um, nice length. I've worn these so much. So the, the, I was going to say leather, 
the denim has gotten a lot softer because I've just I literally lived in this last year um, so just know with weekday jeans the more you wear them which is with like denim in general the more you wear it the more it's gonna shape to your body and it's gonna soften up a lot so love these and last but not least these jeans from pull and bear i think these are really fun obviously because there's like a split in the color um and pull and bear has really good jeans i just don't think their sizing is amazing they're nice and long and they fit really well i just think that with brands like pull and bear and bershka it's quite hard to figure out like the proper sizing i'd rather buy jeans in like waist size and like length instead of just going for like a regular 34 but that's just me yeah but these are really fun just something different um high-waisted and let's go ahead and end off this video so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and of course subscribe also turn on my post notifications so that you be notified every time i upload a video and of course follow me on my instagram i post on there not every single day anymore i used to say this i don't post every single day anymore but i am active on my stories almost every single day so if you want to see more of my day-to-day -day life behind the scenes stuff make sure to follow me on there and yeah thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video